Number 1. Museum Insel Homburg. The one thing you absolutely have to see in Neuss is this art museum a little way south of the center of the city. The site chosen for the Museum Insel Homburg was a disused NATO rocket base. Number 2. Langen Foundation. On the grounds of the Museum Insel Homburg is a museum for the astounding art that was assembled by the 20th century collector Marianne Langen. These works used to be on show at the properties Marianne shared with her husband Victor in Meerbusch, Germany, and Ascona, Switzerland. Number 3. Basilica of St. Quirinus. Dating from the beginning of 13th century, the city's minster was constructed at the transition between the Romanesque and Gothic and was one of the final churches in the Rhineland to have a trefoil choir. The westwork and façade are a haunting mass of pilasters, arched friezes and blind arches. Number 4. Clemens Sells Museum. On the northern fringe of the Rosengarten Park, the Clemens Sells Museum has its roots in the 19th century and the collection of a local candle manufacturer. After the previous venue was destroyed the current building dates to 1975 and was designed by the post-war modernist Harold Dielman. Number 5. Oberter. Just just next door to the Clemens Sells Museum, the historic Oberter is under the same management. This weighty structure is Neuss' last remaining city gate and was raised in the 13th century. Number 6. House Rottles. This fine townhouse on Oberstrasse has a long and interesting past. Originally it was a monastery building, before being bought and reworked by the Rottles family. The house was part of a larger complex that included the family's soap factory behind it. Number 7. St. Marine. When noise populations swelled in the last decades of the 1800s, St. Quirinus was no longer large enough to hold the city's congregation and churches like St. Marine popped up in the new neighborhoods. Number 8. Rosengarten. By the 1990s this century-old park by the Stadthall and Clemens Sells Museum had fallen into disrepair due to a mix of war damage and neglect. But in the space of a few years the Rosengarten was replanted and revitalized, new flower beds were laid, and complemented by lighting and benches. Number 9. Botanischer Garten der Stadt Neuss. Neuss small but well-formed botanical garden takes up a hectare between Kornerstrasse and Bergheimer Strasse and now goes back more than a century to 1914. Among the individual gardens planted here are a potager and medicinal herb garden, and there are also beautiful exotic tree species like a bald cypress and a handkerchief tree native to China. Number 10. Bloodrum. Off Molenstrasse, also a few steps from the Rosengarten, there's another enigmatic reminder of Neuss city fortifications. The semicircular Butterm, Blood Tower, dates to the 1200s and was embedded in the walls. The fearsome name comes from the Blooderm's role as a prison and torture chamber. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.